When it comes to graphic design, one thing most of us want to learn how to create in Illustrator is a logo. Well, there are a lot of other types of artwork you might need to create, especially when it comes to branding content. What about these types of graphics for your presentation or other marketing material? This kind of artwork is called an icon, and you've probably seen them everywhere. On your phone, on websites, and even out in the world. Icons can tell a story. They communicate the core idea and intent of an action. But icons don't only exist as standalone artwork. Sometimes they're combined with text and other elements to create the logos we mentioned earlier. For some of the examples you see here, you could be thinking, aren't these just logos? The graphic part of a logo can be an icon. But notice how these are all different shapes and sizes. Now look at this example of a menu bar on a website. Each of these icons is the same size and has a similar appearance. Icon design is similar to logo design. In the real world, icon design is usually more exacting, especially if you're designing icons for like user interface elements, like buttons in an app. To be more exacting, you can design your icon on a grid of lines so everything lines up neatly. Now, if you went through the logo course, you've seen how creating artwork is about combining shapes and color. In this tutorial, you'll see how to make a uniform set of icons you can use across different marketing materials. But before you start the tutorial and lay the groundwork for the icons yourself, let's look at some key concepts and terms you should know before you start. So how do we start making an icon? When creating an icon, you wanna follow these two principles. Keep it simple, and if you can, use something in the real world as inspiration. Say I wanna make an icon from this bike. I would start by getting a photo to use. Then try to boil it down into basic components, shapes. Remember to keep it simple. Icons usually don't have a ton of detail because they might need to be viewed at smaller sizes and that detail can actually be lost. Okay, let's say we want to create this trash can icon. Start by thinking about the simplified shapes that make up a trash can. Using any of the shape tools like the rectangle tool, you can start creating the base shapes for this icon. To make it more like what we want, you can use the direct selection tool and give the bottom of the can some contour. Now it almost looks right. Since a trash can usually has a lid and sometimes a handle, we can add those to make sure this looks a little more like a trash can and not a cupcake or something. We can add a handle by swapping the stroke and fill of a rectangle we make. To add some extra realism but still keeping it simple, we can add a shadow. Starting with a line, you can split the trash can shape into two using the divide objects below command. In this instance, you could just draw a line and put it on top, but as you become more familiar with Illustrator, you'll discover these types of commands and tools that can help you work smarter and become a more efficient designer. So let's recap. Icons are used to help you tell a story. They are sized consistently, and while making them can be more exacting, they're less complex than, say, a logo, and are usually a simplified version of something you find in the real world. Now it's your turn. Start this tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions to practice making your very own set of icons.